seems to be quite a bit of interest in this solar system. So I'll show you another video of what's going on. Right now it's about, oh, so about 10 minutes to four. And you can see that these are just quietly sitting here in float. You can see that the batteries are 100% charged. This is the load. We do have incoming solar still, but it's not going anywhere because it's in float. Zero from the grid. It's been like that for hours. Here's the, the master. We have two Solark 15s. These are EMP hardened. Uh, people laugh at that, but if you go to their website, you'll learn something. Uh, but look, these are in float. So we've got way more power than we need, but it is sunny today. I like having a surplus of power. Sometimes when we're really busy running a lot of laundry and doing a lot of things in the house, running machines, we've got, uh, you know, maybe some, some equipment that's running and pulling a heavy load. That'll come down just a little bit, but usually not much until the evening. And then the evening we'll run the air conditioner or starting to cool down. Now we may run the heater and it really has uh, a very slow diminishing effect on the battery capacity. So by morning, we're usually still sitting at about 60 or 65%. Some mornings we're at 70, depending on the load uh, from the previous day. But on these batteries, you can see that they've got little screens. It never shows 100%, it's always gonna sit at 99. That takes a second to update. If you wanna learn more about this system, I posted a full link video on my YouTube channel. Go there, check it out. I've actually got two, one on how much we paid for this system. The other one breaks down the components and what was involved in putting it all together. And I'll give you a real quick peek at the array. Got my trailer parked over here. That's a 20 kW array. These are the panels. They're KB solar bifacial 450 watt panels and I've got 44 of them out there.